We kind of celebrated the 40th anniversary of the day that we walked out of Howardus Billings in, uh, on September 6, 1978. 40 years ago, we walked from Howardus Billings to the village area, so we took it further now. We, this time we started from the village and we made the walk to, to survival school. Well, the importance of today is that hopefully the students will remember all the struggles that the um, school committee and the staff and everything went through to get this school here today for them. It meant uh, quite a few things, various things. Uh, number one, it was an opportunity uh, for me to reflect back in terms of uh, what had happened with the, the first walk because I was uh, a participant at that time. Being a student of Howard S. Billings High School in 1978, I was in grade seven. And it really gave me that opportunity to reflect back on what had occurred and um, you know the, the feelings, the emotions and so forth. And in addition, it was very, uh, brought forth a lot of pride for me on that morning to walk because I could see uh, the excitement of the students, I could see it was really bringing them to a, a more clear understanding about what it was like to, to actually be a part of a walk. Well, tonight we're celebrating the uh, 40th anniversary of the Ganawaga Survival School. Uh, we have a gala going on here. We have a band, uh, Airport 77, DJ Jeremy White, and we've invited, um, well, we have a pool of about a thousand alumni to draw from, so we have alumni here and guests, and we also have past staff here that, that uh, don't work at Survival School anymore, but they, they we got a hold of them and people, well, mostly through social media, we got a hold of people and they wanted to come and we, so there's about six or seven that are here so far. I'm just coming tonight because it brings back a lot of memories. Uh, 40 years ago, can't believe that's true. Seems like 20, but um, yeah, just to um, to come in and, and see everyone I went to school with. It is such a great idea already. I've only been here like maybe 30 minutes or so and I've met so many people I used to know and I'm glad that again tonight I get to talk to them to see what they're doing, how they're doing and then we can reminisce on different things that different challenges and the way we used to be back then because it's quite a long time ago. It was about 14, 15 years ago and I worked at survival school for almost 20 years so lots of memories and it's so great tonight that I can get back to these people who I loved and I still love. When I worked there I was in the gym most of the time but also a lot of uh, sports we were doing were outside and um, that's what I used to do even in the winter time and I used to also teach biology grade 9 and some math and computers and what I remember there was the warmth and the friendships and the fact that when you went to work every day you felt welcome and you felt well taken care of and then you knew that whatever you were doing with the students and with the staff really mattered. I've had a couple of roles with survival school uh, as a community member involved with the walkout on the very first day and then as a volunteer uh, teaching right from the very beginning. So I taught social studies until the uh, mid 1980s and then from that time to 1994 I was uh, associate uh, director and then principal here at Gunawagi Survival School and that was that was for nine years. My favorite thing about survival school was the relationships that we have um, among one another as the students, as the teachers, as the staff and uh, as uh, community and community members who come out who know about the school. It's a family feeling and uh, I just lo always loved the, uh, the idea of the first name relationships that uh, most students felt comfortable to speak their mind if they wanted something um, you know or had a concern to be expressed and that people were just willing to go out of their way to spend the extra time needed to help uh, help students get through.
my experience as a student at KSS. Well, my experience started as a student at KSS when the school started. First memory I have is of the walkout. Second memory I have is sitting in a classroom with my grandmother teaching Mohawk class. And the next memory I have is wandering around all the different classrooms, being in welding class with my grandfather, starting the building the barn with uh, a bunch of people from Massachusetts and uh, some staff members. And then being in classrooms when I started in grade seven, learning from some amazing teachers who really took the time to teach us and wanted us to be ready for what the next thing was in life. Hanging out in the cafeteria, which was like the center, the center of everything, and there's always something going on there. Lots of laughter, lots of singing, lots of uh, music. Wonderful thing about survival school, especially having two of my own children that graduate from this school and everything else, I find it's like a family. Like, you know, it doesn't matter what walks of life you come from or anything else, and teachers here see the gift that kids got. And, you know, even if they're not going to be strong in academic or, or whatever fields they want, there's always encouragement, you know, you not to give up. And, and that's what really nice thing is why my kids liked it here, too, because they always have somebody that they can always talk to and support them. I'm hoping that there's another 40 years for survival school, but right now I'll, I'll, I'll settle for a 10 year, uh, 50 year anniversary. I'll settle for a 50 year anniversary and we'll have another party and we'll see what happens then. We'll see who's gonna come back and visit uh, old teachers. Uh, you know, it's 50 years, it's quite a milestone for a school. We're a young school, we're not, uh, we're not, uh, we haven't been around a long time, not like some of the schools in Montreal and over 100 years and things like that, but I'm hoping uh, 100 years from now, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're you know, we're, we're still here and we're still teaching. I would say long live survival school, long live KSS. Uh, Ganawaga Survival School, best cafeteria then, best cafeteria now ever. Long live survival school and uh, for, here's to 40 more and very proud of all the students and all the volunteers. 